Hello, my favorite metalheads. It is Metal Kate here. I was off for the weekend, having fun, having shenanigans. It was a good time. Uh, so I wasn't here. So I have lots to talk about, but it turns out that's okay because I have a little free time this afternoon. I am going to have a little extra Metal Kate time, a little less hairdresser Kate time because my client didn't show up. So guess what? I'm going to talk to you about three days. Three days. So let's start with September 13th. So Oh, that was a good one. Okay, so, 1984, Dawkins released Tooth and Nail. Do you remember that? I totally remember that. I'm a big Dawkins fan. I saw George Lynch a little while ago, Lynch Mob. Super awesome. He played lots of Dawkins, too. His new stuff is great. Oni Logan rocks. So go see George Lynch if you got the opportunity. Um, all right, 1984, also, Kiss released Animalized, which was also really awesome. I liked Dawkins better back then. Don't tell anyone. Uh, in 2011, Alice Cooper released Welcome to My Nightmare. And, oh, in 2003, Walmart refused to stock permission to, I can't even read what I wrote there, The Darkness. I didn't actually like them, so we won't tag them in this. But, yeah, they wouldn't stock the album because there was a butt on the album cover. Oh, how times have changed. So there you go. Uh, birthdays. I'm losing my pillow here. Okay, there we go. Birthdays. In 1959, Chuck Wright, the bass player from Quiet Wright, was born. In 1957, Vinnie Apice, or Vinnie Apice, depending on how you like to say it, was born. And that means he turns 58. Well, actually not today, on the 13th, which was two days ago. Um, 1961, Dave Mustaine was born. And in 1967, Tim Ripper Owens was born. We love him. He's awesome. Uh, so there you go. Let's move on to September the 14th. Uh, in 1999, Queensryche released Q2K. I think we've established that wasn't one of my favorite Queensryche albums. I love my Queensryche more than life itself. We all know that. But I'm honest. Metal Kate is honest. I am. So there you go. Not one of my faves, but that's all right, because it's all, it's all good now. Todd LaTorre is bringing them all back to life anyway, so it's all great. Uh, in 2004, Megadeth released The System Has Failed. Uh, in 2014, Marty Friedman released Inferno. I'm going to see him tomorrow night if I have enough energy after I get off work, so let's hope. Uh, 1981, Maiden released Maiden Japan. And in 1971, Jeff Loomis was born. He is, I think he's the guitarist for Arch Enemy. Yeah, he is. He's the blonde one. Um, he turns 44. Turned 44 yesterday. And Paolo Gregoletto, guitarist from Trivium, was born. Oh, 1985. Dude, he's a baby. He's 30. Oh, my goodness. More power to him. Wish I was 30. All right. Um... Let's move on to today. Uh, 2000, ACDC were inducted into the Hollywood Rock Walk. So that's awesome. Uh, good for them. 1998, Marilyn Manson released Mechanical Animals. 2009, Ace Freely released Anomaly. In 1997, Sabotage released The Wake of Magellan. So way to go. Sabotage for that. Chris Caffrey, you did not retweet my birthday wish, but... Whatever, dude. Um, 1998, Death released a lovely little quiet, sweet album called The Sound of Perseverance. In 2009, Megadeth released Endgame, which we actually reported that they released last week. And then they tweeted us to say, nah, we didn't. It was next week. Get your dates right. So, okay, yeah, it was today. Sorry. Um, in 1987, Kiss released Crazy Nights. That was pretty fantastic. I do remember that really well. And just one birthday today, 1967, Jerry Dixon. Jerry Dixon. I didn't write down who he's with. Was it Warrant, maybe? Damn it, I can't remember. Oops. Okay, I apologize. Somebody tweet me. Somebody tweet me and let me know. Jerry Dixon, who turns 48 today. Now I can't for the life of me remember who he played for, but I think it was Warrant. I don't know. Let me know. Anyway, there we go. So have a great rest of the day and I'm taking off now. So rock on metalheads. This day of metal.